And the first event was uh, 1969, and I was not here. And it was uh, a party that Harold Adams and Gary Steely uh, put on for the, st for the Greek students. They got a one-day beer license, and uh, the rest is history. At the end of the show, everybody packs up and leaves, and three of us are saying, you know, we don't have a student center. We don't even have a card table. Why don't we save this place? And I honestly thought the guy suggested it was crazy. But there's been so many, so many concerts here, and uh, th I mean, thousands of shows, and Dan Fogelberg came here. But anyway, he, that first time that that song had ever been sang, uh, I mean, played for, was at the Red Barn. And that was on May 2nd, 1980, the night before the Kentucky Derby. You know, Dan, you also have just recently written a song for this occasion, Run for the Roses, going to premiere tonight. What was the motivation down that? Well, I wanted to come to the Derby, mostly. I've never been to the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> hey, you're an honest man. <laughs> My favorite other memory of the Red Barn is 1980, right after the Cards won the 1980 NCAA championship. We came down here, I watched it at a friend's mom, we came down here, it was pandemonium down here. This Floyd Street was still open out front, and so we were waiting for the bus to come back from Indianapolis. I mean, there were thousands of people out here. And then the buses came down Floyd Street on the way to Carver Gym, and people were jumping up on top of the buses. It was absolute pandemonium. That's a, a night at the Red Barn I'll never forget. I was the Cardinal Bird mascot while I was at the University of Louisville, and I was lucky enough to be here when we won the NCAA championship in 1986. That same year, we won the championship for the National Cheerleaders Association, and we used to practice cheerleading in this building, if you can believe it. No mats, very few mats, if we had any at all, and it would be the night after an event when the floors would be covered in beer and sticky and messy and food debris. but. It didn't bother us, and we were just happy to be a part of an incredible program and to be here at the Red Barn where so many memories were being made. It's diverse, it's inclusive, uh, you know, it's enough to be invited to the dance, but you'll be asked to dance at the Red Barn. 